Hey guys, it's Mike Tarallo with Click, and it's time for you to learn what's new in our latest Click Data Analytics release, April 2020. In addition to some refinements to our licensing model, this release introduces more ways for ClickView users to adopt ClickSense through our new analytics modernization program and adds a mix of new dashboard and visualization features so you can deliver beautiful insights with ClickSense. Don't forget, these are just some of the highlights. More improvements and capabilities, including those available for Click Data integration, can be found in our release notes and other video materials. Let's take a look. Click's April 2020 data analytics release begins with changes to increase choice for ClickSense enterprise adoption. Customers seeking the management ease and lower total cost of ownership of the cloud can now choose to deploy exclusively in Click's cloud with our new ClickSense Enterprise SaaS offer. Later this quarter, choice will be further expanded with a ClickSense Enterprise Client Managed offer for customers who want to deploy on-premise or in a private cloud based on their governance or data requirements. Customers who choose Client Managed will also have the option to add SaaS and benefit from Click's multi-cloud architecture. The April 2020 release is directly tied to the launch of our analytics modernization program, allowing our ClickView customers to modernize their BI platform by leveraging the investment they've already made in ClickView. With the ClickView April 2020 release, customers can automate the publishing of ClickView applications directly to cloud-based ClickSense enterprise deployments, where they can be consumed by users, providing a modern centralized interface for delivering analytics. Customers will also enjoy GeoAnalytics and Accessibility Extension support, as well as support for the IE plugin for ClickView applications. This release introduces a number of new visualization and dashboarding improvements, giving you more options when creating analytics. Now, I can't demonstrate each of these in great detail, but I have created a longer video for those who want to see all of these features and capabilities in action. Also, you will be able to see these features for yourselves on the demos.click.com site. Just launch this app and you can experience them immediately. Make sure to look for the links in the description where this video was posted. First, you will notice we added context menus to our global navigation toolbar, providing a simpler way to navigate between data preparation tasks, analytics design, and data storytelling. A new org chart visualization, added as per customer request, has been added to the visualization bundle, allowing you to easily show cards as part of a hierarchy. These cards can be expanded and collapsed, selected and styled. To improve collaboration, we added the ability to share bookmarks from published apps. Users can now copy the bookmark link and share it with others via channels, such as email or chat tools. A new advanced calculation has been added to our measure modifiers. The relative modifier provides a quick way to calculate the percentage of a total from a measure. It is available in bar, combo, line, and table visualization objects. Sheet triggers allow users to add actions to be performed when a sheet is opened, providing a guided experience or the ability to set defaults. Settings such as field states, selections, activating bookmarks, and setting variables are just a few. We have added some improvements to our pivot table object that will allow you to save the state of the layout ideal for sharing views of large pivot tables with many nodes. You can also sort by the first measure in the pivot table when needing to sort categories differently. Certain restrictions apply. Our table objects can now include a URL right in the column without the need to define it elsewhere. This allows the URL to now be searchable by the value name, making it easier to locate specific values. You can also freeze the first column of a table, making tables easier to view especially on devices with smaller screen sizes. And finally, we've added some various layout behaviors to our KPI objects, so you can format your KPI views consistently on your sheets. Well guys, that's it for this video. If you want a deeper dive on these highlights and more with each release, be sure to sign up and subscribe for our Click Insider webinar series, with the next one scheduled on May 27th. If you want to be notified when more videos such as this are posted, and are viewing from YouTube, click the bell icon below. We want to hear from you, so tell me in the comments what you think. Don't forget to check out these other great resources to learn more about Click's data analytics and data integration products, and please remember to join the conversation with myself and others in the Click community. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you on the next video.
Take care.